creating a logo at the beginning of a new business shouldn't be a crippling exercise what we're going to be doing today we're going to be looking at a free logo maker as well as canva so you're going to click where it says create your logo now and then you have to answer these three questions so that the artificial software the ai can give you options of the kind of business that you are starting and then you can create your logo so now they ask you my they want to know what kind of business that you're in so i'm going to go with um wellness and spa uh and what is the business called i'm gonna go with fem and what is the slogan i'm gonna go health is wealth then you click on next do you are uh, presented with four style options that you can choose to describe how you would like the logo to look that's why they're saying choose your aesthetics so if you want bold elegant more modern or decorative you select one of them they will provide you these options at the later stage just to allow you to have a view of how it would look like if you went with bold or elegant uh, once it's done creating the option for you. So then they would encourage you to choose a icon because an icon helps build the personality of your brand. So you, if you would like to go with Zen and um, and yoga, you can select any icon that speaks to your brand as part of your logo. So I'm gonna go with this hand that's held up with a heart. And these are the options that are available with the icon that we went with. So you can decide, it's as easy as that. Your logo is created. And this can be done for any business by answering those two questions and that optional one choosing an icon and then making a style choice and then going on from there based on your choice and once you've chosen the logo that you would like to go with you are then presented with color options and you can change color to whichever one that you like and you also have an option of changing the font to whichever font you like once you've made your decision you then scroll down to have a look at how it's going to look like for example on a website on a mobile how it's going to look like on a t-shirt and how it's going to look like on a website on a laptop so uh, adobe spark comes with more mockups and it gives you how it how your logo is going to look like or if you're designing for somebody else how it, in real life how is it going to look like once you're comfortable and you are ready you just click on sign in to download and save and then you log in with either Google Facebook or Apple it's downloaded as a zip file you can drag it to your desktop extract the zip file or use the utility if you're using a Mac and your logos are available there's PNGs there's PNGs that are transparent there's that color that you um, selected and there's also text information to give you the fonts that we use as well as the colors with the hex code that we use for future references so you'd save this for yourself for future and your logo is done and dusted let's jump in on canva and create one there so once on canva you're going to go to your logo or select a blank logo and you want a clean design and we're going to do a psychology of color on logos so watch the space subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the like button if you're getting value from this video so once you have a blank canva we're gonna change the background and make it black and we are looking for a circle under elements we're gonna go for we're gonna search for circle 
in with our circle we are looking for graphics so then we're going to scroll down until we find the one that we would like to use we're going to change the color and make it green i like this green then we're going to make it bigger twist it around rotate it and size it so that it is aligned perfectly with those purple lines you see that it's aligned then we're gonna look for text I could press T to look for text and we're looking for this monster extra bold and we're going to add the name of the company that we are designing for okay so we're going to rotate the name but for now i just want to add the icon on the logo as well as uh, the heart icon so we're going to go back to elements and we're going to look for a hand icon and we're going to look for a graphic hand icon this icon then you click once and it is added on your design then you rotate the hand and then i'm gonna look for a heart icon <laughs> not you heart and i'm looking for a graphic this heart and i'm gonna change color make that green again we're going to do a psychology of color on logos and brands and i'm going to make it sit just on the hand to show that the brand cares about your health the care the, the brand likes um, their customers and it wants their customers to be healthy because we care that's what these graphics represent so in order for us to change the direction of the text we're going to click once on the text we're going to go to effects and we're going to scroll down to curve and we're going to curve the other way around so you're going to move your curve the other way around so that it's round and then you're going to move it inside Your logo like that so I want that to be aligned with the word like that and the nice thing about Canva it allows you to put it together instead of the artificial intelligence the artificial intelligence guides you and it's available so I'm just showing you both options that are available for you when you're creating a logo especially if you're starting a brand new business you don't have a lot of budget you can use these options as um, logos to create a beautiful logo that you would like to use for your company while you're starting up so once you're done with this one you're going to go download download as a png i'm going to just quickly download it as a transparent png so that we can jump in on photo p and see how it looks like on a 3d mock-up because we've seen how the mock-up looks like on adobe spark it's just nice to just look and see how it looks like on photo p as a 3d mock-up then you're going to go to psd templates and you're going to find that mock-up that I've loaded there or any of these templates that are available that the beautiful people at Photopea are sharing with us. This is the one that I've loaded for us there. You just click where it says 3D Window Class Logo Mock-up and you click on the link that says Photopea. It would open up the mock-up. Cool! The mock-up is loaded. You're going to double click where it says your logo. You're going to hide the inspiring B text. You drag the logo, the 2D logo that we've just created. You click and you hold. 
and you align it nicely to the mockup. You go File, Save as Smart Object, and it's saved. You go where it says 3D Class Window Logo, and you wait a few moments for the logo to be converted. I think it looks stunning. I think it looks stunning. However, these are the two options that are available between a logo maker as well as Canva. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you, you're welcome to have a look at this next video tutorial that can give you more insight when it comes to logo. Otherwise, design your life. I'll see you next time. Music